This is why a Corvette is not ideal. Jesus! That truck is, is stupid. So I literally put two wheels in the back, one tire in the front. I feel like I can fit one right here, but I don't think so. Jesus. All right, guys, take a good look at this wheel setup. I mean, it's gonna look exactly the same, but just the wheels are gonna be a, a tad bit smaller. That's gonna have a good size tire. So. Go ahead, put this drag setup on, boys. Ah. Big ol' ET Sudar. Luckily, I have a close friend that works at Discount and he always mounts my uh, drag setup on my wheels. And he's always extra careful. I always go to him to mount my wheels. But I'm gonna just drop these off and then go back home, get the other tire, and yeah, come back. And I'm pretty sure one's already gonna be mounted, so. It's literally the same wheels, 18 by 12, yeah. instead of a 20 by 12. It looks fine. Boom! Literally the exact same wheel, but an 18 by 12. And we got an 18 Street R, 325, 35, 18 on this. Y'all let me know what you guys think. Literally, they weigh the same as the OEM wheel. Maybe a little bit heavier, but I don't think so. They literally felt the same. So, I just need a hook, man. I don't think it's gonna matter. And the car's making 830 wheel. But I'm very satisfied. Huge shout out to my boy Nico. Discount tire, man. That's my guy, man. Always uh, treated me right. But see, they don't even poke out or nothing. Which I love. Maybe a little bit, like, in the bottom. Maybe I need to go get an alignment. This the other side. Heesh. I'm about to go do some pulls right now. I just got to uh, come back and get my other wheel and tire because I literally have one on Triple Eight right here, and one wheel in the back. But there we go, y'all. We got all the fuel system stuff in. We're on the 85. Oil change, spark plug, spark plug wires, drag setup. That's it, man. I'm done, that's it. 2K crunch time, it's complete. Got the homie Alex, we're gonna do some hits. Yes, sir, Steve. We'll see how she do. 
I'll probably do just like second gears, maybe one first. Oh, maybe one first gear. I'm not gonna go too crazy because uh, there's gonna be some action this weekend and I don't wanna be on the car too much. Right now, so. Plus, we are trying to find out if these hook or not. So, just putting in the sauce, the salsa. We'll go from there. All tracks you throw us off. Let's just see how it does. It sounded metal, bro. I think it was something underneath. Bro, uh, we was moving. Hey, only reason hey the only reason you hit fourth is we was moving. <laughs> well, I stayed in it because there was no car. Well, there was that one, but I think we were all right. Mm, fuck. I just want to check real quick. You, you can just stay inside. I'm just checking. You want know the camera? Or? Nah, you good. You good. Just stay in here. Cut the camera, cut the camera. I think, is that it, bro? I, is that, do you think that's enough for the vid? That's um, two pulls, man. You could Are do, you guys satisfied with two pulls? You could do one more for the culture. But, I mean, honestly, guys, I did not want to get D5, four star D5s. Everybody in the mama got D5s. I don't want to get D5, four stars. I don't want to get the, what is it, F14s. Oh, yeah. I'm straight on those. I want to straight weld their Specialties are pretty good, I think. Yeah, billet specialties. Well, and then, uh, well, you got. Appreciate you. <laughs> and you got uh, CCWs, I think. You ever heard of those? Yeah, I heard of CCWs. CCWs are good. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, Bogarts. I want a weld setup, beat lock weld setup for sure. Yeah, yeah. this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna stop right here. Yeah. It's too much. Get me out of this thing, bro. <laughs> Yo, this thing is. Hey, feel like they was hooking. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta say, I am very satisfied. Let me put this window up real quick. I gotta say, man. It was hooking and bucking. What do y'all think, man? Is it worth it? Do y'all think they're gonna hold me back a little bit since they are reps? And, I mean, the website, the guys that uh, made these wheels, I uh, got it from House of Wheels. And I actually emailed them, asking them about it, and they were like, they literally weigh exactly the same as the OEM ones. I just think since they're reps, different material, you know, they might be I don't know, I mean, they gotta be at least, 40 pounds each. Maybe with the tire, 50 pounds each. So that's an extra 100 pounds. I mean, honestly, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm not. But I just did not want to get D5s, F14s, race cars, and all that. No, nothing wrong with, with getting that wheel. It's just, not only have I seen like three to four T7Cs on F14s, well, not F14s, um, D5s. Can't keep that, bro. And I mean, not like welds are original. I mean, they just look fire. And I would get a beadlock, probably S77 or S76, because I know for the Shelby I want to do beadlock. 
a 71 unless I get B lax or something. Like I don't know, bro, but those wheels are pricey. So let me know what you guys think. One more look at the mates. Oh man, that is it. We are ready. Yeah. From from the outside? Yeah, that would have been that would have been fire. Yes, sir. Damn, that bitch hot.